you're looking to scale your business, I'm going to save you a lot of pain. And these are the mistakes, huge cataclysmic problems and the icebergs I've hit over the last seven years, scaling my online business and generating over $11 million online. And in this video, I'm going to teach you what I learned from 24 to 34 so you can avoid the pitfalls that I fell into, be more successful, make more money and have more fulfillment in life. Number one is time is more important than money. And if you think about this on a base fundamentals of how the world works, they print money, they don't print time. And what you can actually do if you understand how the game of business works correctly is you can use money to buy back your time. A great book I'd recommend you read, it's actually called Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. And the whole thesis of this is how you can make money in the business to buy back your time to do higher leverage tasks. Because essentially what you wanna be doing, if you're an online coach or an entrepreneur watching this, you wanna be increasing your hourly rate of the things you're doing every single day. So like, what's the highest leverage thing you can do and get rid of the bullshit that you shouldn't be doing. Whether that's booking your own flights, cleaning your own house, washing your own car. If you make more than $5 an hour, you should be able to pay someone to do a lot of these things for you. And when you get your time back, you can put them into doing two things. One, either things you love to do, or number two is actually building your business, giving you more leverage, which is gonna give you the three things, the three things that I've always wanted. Time freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom. So number two is hiring sooner. One of the biggest mistakes I made is when I was a fitness coach, I had over 220 clients. I was coaching myself. Why? Because I thought every single client wanted to specifically work with me. The reality is that was a complete lie because clients actually care about just getting a result. They don't really care about who they're working with. And this is why the most important thing is actually solving people's problems, which is ultimately what you get paid to do. Now, when you understand this is how your business is actually designed to work, is you hire people to come in, do the job really, really well, often and 95% of the time probably better than you, that means one thing. You can focus on your zone of genius, which is two things. One, the thing you're really good at that no one else can replicate, and two, probably the thing you actually enjoy doing. And this is how you build the business so it actually fulfills you and you enjoy doing it, it doesn't become something you resent. Because one of the big things I see happen with people who have online coaching businesses, in particular if they used to be a personal trainer, they end up creating themselves an office job when they actually wanted to escape the office job by becoming a personal trainer. And this is why you have to build the business to fit around your life, not actually have your life fit around the business. And this is also where you have clear boundaries in terms of what you want to do in the business and what you don't want to do. So some examples in terms of areas you should be hiring very, very quickly. One would be coaches to do fulfillment. The quicker you get yourself out of fulfillment, the quicker you can focus on high leverage things. Secondly, we'd be virtual assistants or call setters to handle messaging, book calls, which will generate you revenue. The third thing is video editors or a videographer to help you produce world-class content like this. Because if you want to have a high value brand, you need to create high value content. You need to not just be messing around making content on your iPhone that looks like mum's filmed it. Number three is looking for the leverage button. So what is it you can do in your business and you can do in your life every single day that's gonna give you a huge amount of leverage? Where can you get your time back? Where is there gonna be exponential results in terms of the time you invest? For example, this morning I filmed Facebook ads, YouTube ads. We spent a lot of time crafting those. We did three different variations, but could all chop up and mix. Now the beauty of spending a lot of time in this and having someone who's a wizard behind the camera to actually film those and then also edit them is it has a huge amount of leverage. Because if these ads are profitable, which they will be, we can then scale these massively and get tons and tons of traffic and reach. So one of the key ways to get more leverage into your business is in terms of paid advertising. Second way you can get leverage is also from long form content that constantly gets pushed out, such as great YouTube content like this, great podcasts like a podcast, the Physically Jack podcast, and these things just accumulate over time. Another way you can have leverage from a marketing perspective in your business is collect an email list because this is data you actually physically own and then when you can email that list every single day. But all of these things feed into each other because the ads, the long form content can all collect emails that we can then distribute to every single day to market. These are examples of leverage in your business. And then the last form of leverage you can have is then gonna be in terms of building the teams and people of who you need to have. And these are things that get your time back, allow you to grow faster and have more happiness in terms of the business you're building. So number four is you don't hit goals you don't set. One of the most important things you can do in every area of your life Business, personal, finance is actually set goals. I would do these in terms of goals, so like over the year, like what you want to achieve in 2024, monthly goals and even weekly goals. So a couple of things I do with this. For example, on my phone, I will have um, a wallpaper, which is basically a vision board of the things I want to achieve in 2024. I create that on Canva. I will then also set at the beginning of the year the goals I want to achieve. 
So normally three to five business goals, three to five personal goals, and you wanna set big goals. The reason you set big goals is you take big actions, and the reality is you have to be okay that you're probably not gonna achieve 50 to 70% of them. But you're gonna get very, very close. So always set big, big goals because it's gonna make you work harder. The second thing I would do is break those things down. So something that's a very important process that I've personally implemented over the last 12 months is actually journaling using an app called a day one app on my iPad and I ask myself questions. And it's almost like a self-coaching process where every Sunday morning I'll sit down, I'll rate the week from one to 10, I will review last week's basically check-in, like what was the big thing I was focusing on last week? Did I achieve it? Yes or no, essentially, if not, why? What the big focus is for this week coming up? Like what's the big focus points? What's the big things I'm looking to achieve? Um, how do I need to do this? And is there anyone I need to help me do this? And when you have this reflective process around the goals you've set, it then becomes very easy to then go and achieve them. And the number one reason people don't actually understand the value of goals, is they don't have big enough dreams. So if you're watching this right now, five years ago I was an estate agent and on a Wednesday afternoon I'd be stuck in a estate agent's office in Walton Thames, sorry. I'm currently by the beach in Marbella filming this YouTube video because I set the goals out there and I had the visualization in terms of where I wanted to go. And I had the vision with what I wanted to achieve and it wasn't crystal clear. And the way I would frame this is this, it's very, very simple. You just need to see the next step ahead of you. And when you take that step, the next step will appear. It's almost like it arises from the mist and you don't have to worry that you can't see the full picture to the end. You just have to worry about the next few yards that are in front of you. And when you do that with the right goals, the right actions, and then most importantly, the big thing that's helped me is the right guidance. Having spent over $250,000 on mentors, it becomes impossible to achieve those goals and one of the frameworks I like to think about is this. I've already achieved everything I want, but time just hasn't caught up yet. The key thing I would take away from this is what are the three goals you want to achieve in the next 12 weeks, 16 weeks? So three to four months. One business goal, one personal goal, one health and fitness goal. And if you're an online coach and you want to have a successful fitness business, one of the most important things is you also have specific fitness goals because it'll help you improve your physique, which means you get better at content because your content just pops more because you're in better shape and you actually become better at making content because you have more educational information you can talk about. And then you also get better in terms of getting client results. So what are the three goals for you for the next 12 to 16 weeks? Number five, money is a force multiplier. In 2024, I've nearly made as much money from investments, returns, and appreciation of assets as I have from my business. And this is the important thing of why you need to invest in only two things. One is yourself, and two are in assets that appreciate and also provide you with income. Now the assets I invest into are real estate, primarily in Dubai because of tax reasons. And then secondly is into cryptocurrency, which are high risk assets. And essentially what I look to do is I make money from cryptocurrency, feed that into real estate, the rental I come from the free estate, and then pile into more real estate and the merry go goes round. If you want financial freedom, what you need to understand is this calculation. How much money do you need to earn per year that you can live off? and then times that by 25, because that's essentially how much you need to have invested to have enough income and take into account inflation so you never have to work again and be financially free, and then work becomes a choice. Next up is the hedonic treadmill. Now, what is the hedonic treadmill? It's the constant pursuit of trying to get shiny objects, Rolex watches, Ferraris, all this stupid shit that I've done over years. Now, one thing I would say is I actually waited a long time until I did that. I could have bought a Lamborghini three, four years ago, but instead I actually did what I spoke about earlier in this video. I bought an apartment in Dubai, which 3 x in value. And this is why you have to understand that if you want to buy all the shiny objects and toys, that's cool, you can go and buy them, but buy the assets first. But what you do have to understand is once you have all the gizmos, you have the cars, you have the watches, all this crap, it doesn't actually really change anything. And what these things actually do is they take up mental baggage in your mind of things you have to look after and have to care about. And this is what you need to understand is that no one really cares and if you want the car, go and buy the car. If you want the watch, go and buy the watch. But don't seek external validation because of these things. And the other thing you need to look out for is the constant quest to try and get more. Why do you want more money? Why do you want to have a bigger business? And understand that you're building the business to fulfill the needs of what you want, which is why I'd refer back to the previous point where I spoke about how much money do you need to have complete freedom? And that's really what you actually want to engineer your goals towards firstly, because that's what's going to give you fulfillment and happiness. It just literally burns no calories. So one of the most important things is you actually need to recover as hard as you need to work. So one of the big mistakes I see a lot of people making in terms of when they're running their business is they bury themselves into the ground. And for a long time, I have been in the bury myself into the ground mentality. 
because one of the ways I really think is that you can grow your business with blunt force, which is true. But your brain is basically the same as your body in terms of it needs time, so it needs to actually rest and recover. So you need to focus on how many days we work really, really intensely and days when you actually focus on recovering and trying to refill your cup in terms of energy. Now, on those days, it doesn't mean you don't do any work, but maybe you do less or you do the things you enjoy. So maybe you do an hour or two first thing in the mornings, which is really what I do at the weekend, and then I try and do other things which are gonna give me back energy, give me back joy, give me back fulfillment, that then gives me more motivation for the rest of the week. Things for this like that can actually give you more energy would be whether it's sports and activities you like doing, for like me, for example, things like paddle, going to spas, getting massages, going for nice meals, even just going for a walk down the beach or sitting in the sun, or even sunbathing and reading business books which stimulate my brain, but I also find it enjoyable. So if you actually align your business to the point where it's actually not gonna burn you out, it means you can do it for the long run, which basically means that you can compound and keep getting better at the thing you're doing. And the one reason I see a lot of people struggle is they burn themselves out in like 10, 12 weeks. So what I try and do is I work in sprints. I probably work really, really hard for two, three weeks, and then I probably take it easy for a week. And I almost repeat that cycle, and then, Every four to six weeks, I'll give myself a bit of a break while I'll try and go away somewhere for a few days. I'll still do some work, but it's like a pattern interrupt. And one of the things I've noticed is, is that I crave routine, but then I also get very bored, which is why I actually have to have things that force me to go to other countries, different cities, that gives me new stimulus, but also gives me more ideas. And this is why you need to recover as hard as you work, because it will make you more productive, more efficient, healthier, and happier. Now, one thing I do every single week religiously is this. I journal using the day one app on my iPad and I reflect on the week previously and I plan for the week coming forward. So the questions I ask myself is this. I rate the week from one to 10. Uh, what were the big objectives I wanted to achieve last week? Did I achieve them? If not, why? And what are the big three things I wanna achieve this week? And then who do I need to help me to achieve these things? Because when you break it down, people solve problems and people have the answers to the things you need. Therefore, your job, if you wanna build your business, if you wanna build your body, is to find the right person to solve the problem. And essentially, throughout my entire career, I've spent over $250,000 on mentors, masterminds, and self-learning. So then I have the skills to solve every problem you could have if you're an online fitness coach, because I have my own online fitness business that sold millions and millions of dollars of fitness programs, and we've also helped hundreds of trainers do exactly the same thing. And when you know the solution to problems, it then means you become a very, very valuable person. And as you get older, this is where you get wisdom and you get experience. And the quicker you can get these things, the easier the game of business and life becomes, because why? You know how to make the right decision at the right time and also stop problems coming up. The hardest thing is to do this, and this is one of the things that when you're younger, you absolutely overlook. And that's actually learning the hard skills sooner. And what do I mean by the hard skills? It's the things that aren't necessarily sexy and exciting. It's not marketing, it's not sales. It's the things that really actually allow you to scale your business and actually get your time back in your life. So one is learning operations, and two is learning leaderships. Sorry, one is learning operations, and two is learning leadership. And these are the hard skills you have to learn that allow you to have influence across multiple people. And what you need with these skills though also is a wide spectrum of more specific skills. So if you wanna be successful online, you need to learn how to copyright, how to make text that sells. You need to learn how to talk on camera just like this. You need to learn how paid advertising works, how to buy clients essentially. And then fourthly, you need to learn how sales and sales processes work and how to build sales teams. And these are the hard skills you need to build within yourself, so then you can multiply them out to the rest of your team with the other leadership skills, operation skills, so you can keep growing your business. So 10 years from 24 to 34, I went from being a manager of an estate agency in Walton on Thames to running one of the biggest online fitness businesses in the world. And that's a testimony of what can be done when you learn the right skills and you get the right experiences and you surround yourself with the right environment, as explained in this video. Now, if you're looking to get to the next level in terms of your business and your life, the fastest way to get there and to collapse time is to get someone to teach you who's done the exact thing. And I've got two things you can do. One is completely free, check out our 4C course below this video, which is how we help you create create content, to create conversations, to create calls, to create clients. This system has generated me over $5 million online and you get access for completely free. 
And if you want one-to-one -one coaching in terms of how we can help you build your business with Seven Figure Scaling Systems, there's also a link below you can book in your free call. If you took value from the video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe, comment below any questions, and I look forward to making another video like this, 34 to 44 in 10 years.